A server in Camden County is outraged tonight, saying a group of customers not only dined and dashed, but then pushed her into the water when she chased after them. The server says she was humiliated Friday night when the customers drove away cheering as she struggled in the water. Color 10's Parker Padgett spoke to her today. He's live outside the Fish and Company restaurant where the incident happened. Yeah, Liana Bertel says this all started when she refused to serve alcohol to a person who did not have their ID on them. She says the situation spiraled from there, leaving her traumatized. I don't want to get in the lake at all. I think that that would be very traumatizing for me. She says a group docked at the fishing company on Friday night and slowly grew more upset with wait times throughout the evening. They said, we're, we're leaving, we're done. So I said, okay, I have your food ready. It's, I can go and put it in two go boxes for you and I'll grab your check as well. She followed them to their boat and says during the confrontation, she was pulled into the water. They started backing up and the guy grabbed my, hand, my arm like this and pulled me in to the water. She says while the group was cheering, she was able to tread water before eventually getting back on the dock. Her father David works at the same restaurant but was unaware what happened until she returned. I want justice for my daughter because their flippant attitude with her life is disgusting. All seven of them are absolute cowards. And I want their, their day in justice. I want their day in court. The Camden County Sheriff's Office is investigating this as a possible assault case, but they have not been able to identify the suspects. We still have to talk to the other side of this and determine the facts of the case. What we have now is one side of the events. What we'd like to do is get both sides of the events, and then somewhere in between both sides is what actually happened. And that's what we have to produce as matters of fact and evidence to send to the prosecutor's office. Bertle says she is thankful for the support she's received over the last few days. I just want to say I wanted to thank the lake for all their support. Everybody here is such an amazing community and they have rallied behind me so much. I am forever grateful. Bertels tells me that tab was paid for by her manager. And if you have any information that can help this investigation, you're encouraged to contact the Camden County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live at Lake of the Ozarks, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.